All right, what's up, everyone? I'm back. It's uh, it's been a little while. I uh, I went to I went out of town for Christmas, and uh, I was waiting to uh, I was waiting till after New Year's to start uploading again. I'm gonna be real with you. Christmas kind of sucked. Uh, I was just kind of the odd man out the whole time, and not not a whole lot happened. So uh, this Christmas kind of sucked, but uh, I've I've realized lately that, like, w you, you know those those miserable, like, hopeless, angry videos I made? I think I've kind of found the root of that in all my problems. It's boredom. When I get bored, so, so let me explain this. When I get bored, I start sitting and I start thinking, and I start thinking about everything that happened in my life that pissed me off. It just pisses me off today. So that makes me mad. But also what happens when I get bored is I start cooking up a little cooking up little ideas in my head. And when I cook up these ideas, they are they're never good, right? Like I probably like I can deal with hardship and shit like when shit gets hard, I can deal with that. What I cannot deal with and it has been a constant throughout my life is boredom. I just genuinely cannot handle boredom. And I cope with boredom in the worst fucking way possible. I start cooking up an idea that is borderline fucking insane. Because I'm so bored, I just start bouncing off the walls. and get start. I get angry and shit, too. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is a fire idea. And it usually ends up causing catastrophic damage. It, it like, when I get bored, it starts like... It, like, other people usually get hurt from it because I cook up this little idea in my brain. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fire. So, basically, what I have to do is I have to constantly keep my mind occupied or else I start cooking up this, this little idea and the idea grows into just catastrophic damage. Like, I... And not, like, gen, like genuine actual damage, too. Not just, like, damage, like to people by being annoying or pissing them off or hurting them in some sort of way, but actual property damage. Like, when I get bored, I go around and I destroy shit because I'm bored and I want to test my strength. And I'm like, like, I've cooked up this idea lately and I know it's bad and I know it's because I'm bored, but I want to start like an urban legend around my neighborhood where people are like, there's like a Bigfoot, there's a Bigfoot running around. So what I've gone and done as I've gone and I've bent stop signs just with my bare hands. I've just bent them all the way to the ground, like from the, from just like the pole. I've just bent them. And I've uprooted pipes from the ground. I've broken trees, like entire trees. Granted, the trees were very small, but I broke, broke one of them. I broke branches. Shit, I, I've broken a lot of shit. Uh, like, I've just gone nuts and started breaking shit because I'm bored. And I feel, I think it's very illegal what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm bored, you know, I'm bored. I mean, damn, if I, if I get caught for this, I'm probably just going to have to pay a lot in property damage, which will suck. But I don't think I'll get caught. Uh, I, it, as long as I just chill the fuck out and stop doing it, you know. Like, I've got, I've got this idea cooked up in my brain. The ultimate test of strength. I'm going to flip over a car. Like, not pick it up and flip over. But, like, you know, lift it up. Like, maybe try to deadlift it and lift it up from the side. Like, one of those really small cars. Nothing big, but, like, a really small car. Because there's a, a, some really small cars in the neighborhood. Like, flip it onto its side. But I, I don't think I could do that. And I think that's just me cooking up a, a fucking insane idea in my brain. And if I did, even if I was able to do it, I would definitely get caught because now I flipped over somebody's fucking car. But, you know, I'm just so bored. I get so bored that I start just going nuts. Like, if I keep, like, and I'm also a lot more miserable and unpleasant to be around when I'm bored. Like, I start getting bitter and angry and hateful towards everybody when I'm bored. But when I'm, like, doing something, got my mind occupied, I'm a lot more pleasant to be around. Like, um, like those, those videos I made, I was bored when I made those. Like, I was bored, among other things. I was just mad and bored. So, I was a lot more unpleasant in those videos, as you could literally tell. 
I sounded like a very angry, bitter person in those videos. But you know, when I when I got my mind occupied, I'm, I'd say I'm a lot more pleasant and I'm fine to be around. But it's just, it, like boredom has been a constant throughout my life and I've never learned to cope with it. Like it's just, I... I, I literally have the worst way of coping with it. I just go, okay, now I'm going to go do some fucking nuts. And, like, it, it's nothing, like, like, it's never anything, like, healthy or normal, like a hobby. It's always, let's go destroy property. Let's go, I did this one thing where I literally bully reported. My, my, my friend who lived in Maryland, he had a bully report system at his school. I was bored in class one day. This was a junior year of high school. I was like... Oh, yeah, I got a fire ass idea. So I bully reported him, and he got sent to the fucking principal's office. And they're like, uh, you were bully reported, so wh what happened? And, and he got, they all got so mad at me, but it was, obviously, it was kind of funny. But it's just, it goes to show what, what I do when I'm bored. And, and another thing, I think I've talked about this before on this channel, where I, um, uh, like, this was senior year of high school. I basically... It was it was a guy I knew. I, like, I didn't even hate the guy either. I, I was literally just fucking bored. So I cooked up this idea where we told him that uh, a girl was going to ask him out during lunch in front, of the, in front of the whole senior class. And, like, to prom or whatever. And then what we did is when, he, when it turned to lunch, I went up there, grabbed the microphone and, microphone and said... Uh, we, we got a, we got a bunch of people asking this guy out, and I pulled up a bunch of, like, guys, at, at, like, seven people, and who were all in it, on it, and then I, I called him out, basically, publicly, kind of humiliated him in front of the whole class, or a whole senior class, a whole fucking room, and people were going like, oh my god, oh my god, it was actually two entire it was all of senior class and all of, like, sophomore class or freshman class as well. So, it was even worse. But, like, <laughs> like, and I was just sitting there laughing and shit. And, and like, I c created the idea. I cooked, It was all because I was bored. I cooked it up. I convinced everybody to join. And I made sure the plan went through. So, I probably was the most in the wrong there. But it was a little, little bit funny, and he didn't hate me for it. And to be fair, I did get karma for that, because one of my other friends, he uh, he grabbed the mic towards the end of the year. He started singing all I, karaoke singing, All I Want for Christmas is You. He walked up to me in front of the entire senior class, pointed at me, and started singing to me. And everybody was looking at me, and I was like, oh, shit. So I did, that's probably karma, to be honest, but, you know, it's whatever, uh, but again, that just goes to, to show, this, this, all this shit happens because I'm bored, like, the most damage I've ever done to people was always because I'm bored, like, everybody tells me to find a hobby, like, another thing I, I want to do so bad and, like, have tried to do is I've tried to con people, not even for money, like, I, like, I don't care about the money, I try to, like, and not just like some fucking crypto scam. Uh, that shit. That shit's not intuitive. I, I I mean like some Saul Goodman shit where you make up a whole big ass lie on the spot, and then you try to convince them and sell. I tried to sell somebody a fucking pencil, like a regular number two pencil, and I I, I was like, no, bro. So my dad was in the Navy, and he went to Iraq. And when he was in Iraq, he met this man named John Lagston. Like, I just made up a name on the fucking spot. I said John Lagston. And John Lagston actually created these pencils, which are extremely rare. There is only a few of them in existence. And this pencil right here goes for 70 bucks. And, and I was trying to convince them. I was trying to sell this regular number two fucking pencil for 70 fucking dollars. Because I was like, no, bro. John Lagston created this fucking pencil. It's huge. And I just did it because I was bored. I didn't even care about the money. Like, when I do that shit, I do not care about the money at all. I, I literally, I care about the thrill of actually conning someone. Because it is, it is thrilling to try and convince somebody to buy a fucking pencil. Just a fucking pencil. Just a normal-ass pencil for 70 bucks. 
and it wasn't even in good condition. It was all chewed up and shit. I was like, that's why I'm giving you a discount of 70 bucks because normally this thing would probably go for 200 bucks. But since it's not in mint condition, I'm going to sell you this for 70 bucks. A fucking huge discount. And, and of course, they didn't fucking buy it because everybody knows I'm a fucking liar. Like, I have a kind of a reputation of being just a bullshitter. So, they're, 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 but it was, it was funny. Like, it was, it was funny. But it all happened because I was bored. So, I think, like, I have hobbies. Like, going to the gym and shit, that's my hobby. But it's not enough. Like, I, I think I might need, like, genuinely five fucking hobbies at the same time. Just to keep my mind occupied and just to keep me from doing this shit. But, uh, you know, that's it. See ya.